Today, I'm going to show you guys how to cut up your file into multiple parts on the Creality Print Slicer. I repeat, if your file does not fit on your build plate and it's too large and you need to cut it up into multiple parts or pieces, this is the tutorial for you for Creality Slicer. Step number one, what we need to do is obviously open up the Creality Slicer, Creality Print, and then step number two, what we need to do is bring in your file. Chances are you're already here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a giant helmet just so that I, it does not fit on the build plate. And a lot of times this happens with cool big 3D prints that just don't fit on the build plate. So the next step, step number three, what you wanna do here is you need to highlight the file. So put your mouse on the file, highlight it by left clicking. Step number four, what you need to do next is you need to go up to this button menu at the top and look for the cut button. There's a specific button that does this in Creality Slicer. Here it is right here, it says cut. So just be careful, when you hit it, there's gonna be a prompt that opens up, try not to touch anything immediately. So this is the cut feature. So don't touch anything yet. What we wanna do here is, this is essentially a plane at which it's going to cut it. And it, it immediately does this. You can choose different modes for it. I, I tend to do this first one, which is called planner, planar, however you say that. And then what I do here is I drop and drag these, this tool right here. It'll give you the different dimensions. You can drop and drag it each way. You can do it this way, or that way. What I'm gonna do here with the helmet is I am going to cut it directly in half. So if you left click and hold those arrows, what it will do is it will bring the pane, it'll move it in, in which it's going to be cut. Now it's showing you how it's going to be cut. And what you wanna do here is move the pane to where, you know, exactly where you want it. You know, I'm gonna do a direct 90 degree cut so it's directly in the middle. It tends to stop like right at the 180 or 90, you know, but maybe you wanna cut it at an angle. I don't know, it doesn't make sense in this scent, in this situation for a helmet. It really depends like your, situ your situation. So I'm gonna do that, just make sure it's at 90 degrees here. And then that is right where it's gonna be cut down the middle. So that's, that's we're not done yet, right? So you might wanna think about if you're cutting your file into multiple pieces, is if you want connectors. So if we add connectors, there's a little button right here where it says add connectors, click that, and it will ask you what type of connectors do you want? If you right click, you, if you right click and hold, you can kind of move and hover what it's gonna look like for each of these. You can do dowels, you can do snaps, you can do different types. Just mess around with these settings and figure out which suits you the best, right? So then once you're done with it, you can click confirm connectors and then it's going to give you an idea of what it looks like. What I'm gonna do here, this says the cut position is 88. I'm gonna move this to directly 90 because I, I drug it and it wasn't exactly down the middle. Just pay attention to that cut position because if you want it directly like at a, at a, at a seam, which helps, I would play Pay close attention to this. It's usually gonna be like 90 or 180. And then once you've done, once you're done doing that, click on perform cut right here. And it says non-manifold edges detected. Repair now. I advise you do that. So just click yes. And this is just gonna take your computer a minute or two, depending on how powerful your computer is. I can hear the CPU fans cooking right now as we talk. All right, so it finished doing it. And as you can see here, our file is in two pieces. So if we can kind of move on over, what I advise you to do is add a plate. So next, if we go up here where it says add a plate on the button menu, click there, it's gonna add a plate. Then what you wanna do here is you wanna left click and then drop and drag it over. And then now your file is going to fit on the build plate. Amazing, right? So again, all you have to do is kind of click on your build plate, hold shift, left click, drop and drag it over. What I tend to do here is a lot of times uh, it doesn't really know how it's going to be like printing or what's the best like situation. So what I tend to do is I highlight the file. I'll click auto orientate and then I'll do default. See what happens. And a lot of times if you click that auto orientate feature, it'll figure it out based upon if, if there's overhang or if there's based on supports and whatnot. So now, now that is a better looking file. What we can do here is we click on this plate here. We can, um, we can kind of see how it's gonna go together. If we look under here, there's the dowels and plugs for the connectors. So yeah, now this worked, guys. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to cut this file up into multiple pieces in Creality Slicer. Hit me up in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel.